let me show you how to create beautiful golden hour light and at the end of the video have some extra tricks to make everything even better. Hello my friends, how are you doing? My name is Olivio, I'm a professional designer, let's get started. Here we are in Affinity Photo, but it works very similar in Photoshop. You can see we have a beautiful sunset, but the colors are too blue. We want to have it nice and warm to give us this beautiful feeling. So the first thing is to add an adjustment for curves. I want to switch this over to lab mode. This helps us to warm up colors and cool down colors in a very easy way. We are mainly using the master curve and the B opponent curve. Let me show you the difference. Here we have the master curve. When I push it completely up, you see that everything now is orange. When I push it completely down, everything now is blue. When I do the same thing with the B opponent curve, my image gets a very extreme yellow tint. The other direction has a very extreme blue tint. A very important part of adjusting your images is that you create a bit of color separation. And this is why we are going to warm up the lighter values and cool down the darker values, which means the shadows are becoming a little bit cooler. So let's get started here. Up here we have the lighter values, so let's push this up a little bit. You can already see that everything is getting warmer. And then down here we have the darker values, but in the middle we have the mid value. So I want to grab this curve down here in that lower area and draw this a little bit back. And when I do this, you can see that my sky is still nice and warm, but the beach in the foreground and the shadows over here, they are a bit cooler now. Let's do the same thing with the master curve. Push it up and see the difference. See how this becomes very nice, very warm, feels really good to look at, but the beach is very warm right now too. Everything looks very flat. So again, go down here, pull it back and look at that beautiful separation that we have between the sky and the beach in the foreground. Also, the sky up here is back in a nice blue. Here is the next trick, and this will surprise you. We're going to use a gradient map to control the colors in our photo. So let's go here to adjustments, make a gradient map. This looks pretty crazy right now. So I will delete the middle point here by selecting it and then clicking delete down here, that's important. I will set the blend mode to soft light, but now we need to adjust these values here. I want to select the right point and you see down here we have color. Click on that, you get a pop down menu, select the HSL color wheel. This is one of the easiest ways to select color. In our sky, I want to have a little bit of warm red values because of the sunset. Let's go over here and set it somewhere here. And then I will bring this down a lot. So I will desaturate it and I will make it darker so it doesn't have too much of an impact on the image. We just want a hint of that color in here. Now let's go over here to our shadow areas. And in this case, because it is a sunset, I want to have a light touch of a brown orange color in there. So let's select over here a bit of an orange value and bring this down by a lot like so. These are right now a little bit too close. Let's go back in here and I will bring this over more into a violet like so. This is actually better. Don't forget about the beach. So I'm going to click here to create another point and I want to have in these darker mid values because on the left side we have the darker values, on the right side we have the brighter values. This is how gradient map works. So I want to introduce here blue as a value. Also muted and dark, just a hint of it. And I want to pull this over here a little bit more. You see, when I pull this over too much, I have it again on the beach. I will pull this back. So I have the blue values here on the beach. And you can see now when I turn this on and off, how much of a difference this makes. Look at the sky up here, kind of a boring, a little bit yellowish blue. I turn this on and we have this nice bluish violet touch. Very, very nice. Look at the orange values here. They are a little bit boring. Now with our gradient map over it, 
very nice, cozy, warm orange tones. Now we come to the secret sauce, the extra tricks at the end of the video, because I want to give this more story, more expression. So here's the first trick. I'm going to create another curve. Again, I'm going to set it to lab mode. This time I'm going into lightness. I look down here on the grass and push it up until I feel that the grass looks good as if a little bit more light is falling onto the grass. With my second curve select, that's pretty important. Go up here to layer, invert, so none of that is applied. Then I'm going to use a brush in Affinity Photo. You can hold Control and Alt and then move your mouse to the side to make it bigger or smaller. Move it up and down to make it softer or harder. So very soft and also rather big like this. We set it to white as a color and we reduce the opacity 35 to 50 is good. So you can make multiple strokes. And then I will paint in here a little bit of light onto this grass just to bring it out a little bit more and give it a bit more expressiveness and shape that area towards the sun in the background so it's not too uniform. You have a lot of ability to shape the light in your image with this trick. Now here's another trick that's pretty amazing. I want to intensify the colors if you want to have really deep warm colors. Here's how you do that. You go here to adjustments and create an adjustment for a selective color. And now look at that. We have our red channel for the color. We have our black values down here. And when I make them darker, you see the slider on the left side, it's white on the right side, it's black. So I move it over, make it darker. And look at that, how everything intensifies just in the red channel. It's pretty amazing. And you can even use the magenta slider to create even more magenta in your image if you want to. And here's the last trick I want to show you today for when you want to have everything a little bit brighter. And this one is a bit dangerous to be honest. So we go to adjustments and then to levels and you have here the black slider and the white slider and I will push in the bright values. You can see when you look at the image how all of these values here where the sunset is get brighter. Now, the reason why I say be careful with this is because when you do this, you compress the brighter values and you can end up with some color bending, with some ugly results, with some peaking colors. So use it at risk, but it's a very effective trick. That's it for today. Leave a like if you enjoyed this tutorial. And I want to thank all of my patrons who support me and make these videos possible. See you soon. Bye.